a giant in the Suncoast arts community has passed away. Paul Wolf, longtime head of the Florida West Coast Symphony, has died at age 90. ABC 7's Linda Carson has more. Linda. For 55 years, Paul Wolf has been a powerful force in the Suncoast arts community. He left his mark as a conductor, a teacher, a world class violinist, and truly a good human being. Paul Wolf was artistic director and conductor of the Florida West Coast Symphony, now the Sarasota Orchestra, for 34 years. He leaves behind a powerful legacy. The number of students that got to see our young person's concerts, that went through our programs, whether or not they went on to music school, um, and all the students that came through the festival. We have so many alumni who have been through the festival mm -hmm. who are now playing in major orchestras that he worked with, and I think his impact will always be felt. His accomplishments made him famous. His character made him beloved. He had a huge heart, and although he was talented and so respected, he was so humble at the same time. And he was involved in everything here at the orchestra, um, very engaged in the festival and the musicians, and cared about the people behind the music, not just the notes. In an ABC7 tribute to Paul Wolf several years ago, he told me he was born in New York, started playing piano at age two, violin at four, he was a concert master of an Air Force band at age 16, and performing in New York soon after. I was playing with Stokowski in, in uh, his New York City Symphony. I was playing with Frank Sinatra on Columbia uh, CBS. Uh, I was playing on Broadway with Paul Whiteman and Mark Warno. In 1961, he was named conductor of the Florida West Coast Symphony, and he and his wife Doris moved to Sarasota. The orchestra became his vision, and he really brought it to what it is today. And in 1965, he started the Sarasota Music Festival, still internationally acclaimed today. He started the Sarasota Youth Orchestra. Lauren Hirsch was a member. He was such a professional. I mean, I feel like that was the biggest thing that impressed me, that the conductor of the main orchestra was here conducting high school students with the same professionalism and musicality and respect for us as I'm sure he was with the professional orchestra. I think Paul's main legacy is the vibrant arts community in Sarasota. I'm not sure that we would have the ballet and the opera and the amazing theater that we have if we didn't have the orchestra and, and the vision that Paul had for the Sarasota community. He was a great man. Mm -hmm. Our hearts go out to his family. Mm -hmm. Story career too there, I tell you. Oh, yes. Two years old and starting at two years old, that uh, tells you a little something there. He was a prodigy. Born, tr yeah, true but true he was talent. still great when he was 90. Yeah, That's, exactly. Yeah, a lifetime and has touched so many other lives here on the Sun Coast. Have a